Gill here from Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire. And on this channel, we do a lot of primitive build and or hunting videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. But hopefully, you've actually been following along and seeing all the cool videos we've been doing for the last all few years now. And you're probably used to seeing me shooting stick bows and stone points every now and then in the flintlock a little bit. This show, we're going to focus on something a little bit different. We're going to bridge the gap between traditional and primitive bow hunting. And how are we going to do that? By going all the way back to the 1930s and 40s and handcrafting a wooden traditional style bow. And then, of course, in true hunt primitive fashion, we're going to take that bow, we're going to go out, we're going to do some hunting with it. So let's move on into the adventure, see what we can get into. In the early 1900s, Saxon Pope and Art Young started the snowball of modern archery, helping the bow and arrow gain popularity in recreational shooting and hunting. The next generation blossomed traditional bow hunters like Fred Bear and Howard Hill to introduce to the world the challenge to be found in modern day bow hunting. And before 1949, when Fred Bear commercialized the new fiberglass line of bows, builders like Nels Grumley handcrafted bows out of staves of wood. Thus was the fork in the road and divided the two distinct styles of modern archery and traditional archery. When the compound bow was later invented, the fiberglass traditional bows took over the traditional bow hunting world, compounds to the modern, and the old wooden bows branched into the ironically new demographic of primitive archery. What we are showcasing today is the time of the 1930s and 40s and the rebridging of the gap between traditional and primitive archery. Primitive archery today usually draws inspiration from early traditional bows and blends it with the even earlier influence of Native American bows. Modern primitive archery embraces all the characteristics of natural wood with knots and wiggles and slight twists. And in our build, we are going to be utilizing a single piece of wood, yet focus on the uniformity expected from the commercialized building of wooden bows in the 1940s. This video isn't a detailed how-to on building bows, but rather to entertain, educate, and inspire those interested in learning more about archery of this era. We see a glimpse of the work that goes into this style of bow, and then of course in true hunt primitive fashion, we are going to take this bow out and go do a hunt with it. And if you would like to know more about building wooden bows, consider checking out my book on primitive bow building, which can be found at huntprimitive.com and also at the link down in the description. In the area that we are hunting this time of year, antlerless deer are not legal game. So while we were in a good position, we had to give this little guy a free pass. Now as much as I like deer hunting, 
I will never turn my nose up to the opportunity at shooting wild pigs when they come by. Although I'm quite certain I heard the pig crash, we give ample time and take up the blood trail shortly after dark. Hunting here with my buddy Don Davis, who's currently hiding off camera. You can stick your head in and say hi if you want, but this is his lease and he was nice enough to invite me along and we're deer hunting, but I'm never going to turn down the opportunity to shoot a pig, especially when it walks by close. So I guess we'll get him out and drink a beer and cut him up and we'll have us another pig for in the cooler. My kids absolutely love to eat the canned pork uh, that I make from these wild pigs, so they are going to be extremely excited to see me rolling in the door with another pig in the back of the truck. Uh, what kind of boat that? Thing? Well, it's kind of like a vintage style throwback to the 1930s and 40s uh, Osage recurve. So it's a single piece of Osage and it's backed, but it's built more like a modern bow. So it does not like a normal self bow where it's got a little bit of wiggles and knots. The focus is on being really clean and really straight. And uh, I think we represented it pretty well. I think that's it. I think that pretty well covers it. So thanks for watching and. Stick with us to see what we come up with on the next adventure.